Hi, we want to take a look today at uh, hand saws and what we can do with hand saws and we want to compare that to a table saw because you might be with only a hand saw and you're wondering whether you ought to upgrade to a table saw or not, whether it's worth the expense and what you can do with one versus the other. Uh, if you like the content, we would ask that you subscribe and then you'll see our future ones and get notified. And also we'd appreciate it if you hit the like button at the end if you like what you see. So a table saw is a major investment. Uh, you don't have to buy one quite as fancy as this. As a matter of fact, you can buy one that's a lot less expensive. And basically a table saw allows you to do a cross cut where the wood uh, like this piece of wood would come across the blade and it would cut across the narrower part of the board's geometry. Or we can use this fence and we can rip cut. So we're cutting along the length by pushing it through that blade lengthwise. Now, is, is that functionality that, well, you know, there's another function you can do. I can also angle this blade over up to 45 degrees and I can cut a bevel on wood. So basically the three operations I can do are a cross cut, a rip cut, and a bevel cut. Well, you probably have one or more hand saws. You actually can do all those operations on a hand saw, especially if you combine it with one of these, which is a miter box. Now a miter box, allows you to put your piece of wood that you're cutting uh, into the miter box and then take your saw and put it in these pre-cut notches which guide the blade and they allow you to do a cut 90 degrees or 45 degrees and by the way look at this notch here I can also do a bevel cut. Uh, so I can do all of the operations with this miter box uh, and a handsaw that I can do with a table saw. So why in the world would I want to buy a table saw? Well, there's a couple reasons. First of all, you will find that the accuracy of the cut uh, is dependent on your, per of, a, of a handsaw is dependent on your personal skill uh, and that is not as much the case with a table saw because it is inherently very accurate because it's a stable platform with a stable blade and you have surfaces like the fence that are of a known and fixed geometry to that blade. So the table saw will give you in general a more accurate cut. The other thing about it is there's more labor involved. There's actually a lot of work to saw uh, not to saw through some narrow, uh, thin piece like this, but for instance, if I were trying to rip cut this piece of wood, that would be a more labor intensive uh, uh, endeavor. But it is doable. As a matter of fact, uh, furniture, fine furniture, was built, uh, you know, for centuries with only hand saws and planes, etc. There were no power saws whatsoever. Uh, if you were going to do uh, another thing you would want to have, a couple of things you would want to have even besides a miter box, uh, this is a bench hook. See it has a little piece of wood here and a piece of wood here. It goes against the bench like that and I put my wood here and I use it as a way to allow me to do a fairly straight cut and have it be stable. So that tool helps you be more accurate and it helps you be more efficient. Uh, another thing you would want if you were really going to get serious about hand saws is a vise because holding the wood stable is extremely important. And here I in the configuration to do a rip uh, and this is a rip saw and you notice there's no there's no reinforcing on the top to prevent the blade from going down all the way through. And so, you can see that 
that the, the vise holds it very stable, and I can mark this with a line, and with a little bit of practice, I can get pretty good at following that line with a handsaw. So, I can really do everything with handsaws that I can do with a table saw, but you have to get a little bit practiced and have just a couple of inexpensive uh, helpers to allow you to do it more accurately. Again, it's not going to be as quick. Now another alternative, if, uh, if you don't want to spend all the money for a table saw, is to use hand saws and where it gets to be a long board or a long cut or, or needing a lot of effort, you can supplement with a circular saw. Now we have, which is, which is a handheld saw that you bring to the work, uh, unlike a table saw, and it's very inexpensive in the $30 to $50 range. We have a video on uh, circular saw, circular saw versus uh, table saw, etc., and we'll put that uh, in the notes below. So, uh, to summarize, the hand saws are cheap, although you can spend hundreds of dollars on a saw, uh, hand saw. Uh, they're, but they're very cheap compared to a table saw, uh, but they are not quite as accurate. The, the more you practice with them, the more accurate they will be. Uh, and they require much more effort than, you know, physical labor effort than a table saw does.